They're gonna put me out of my house. They evict me. My son gonna take me out of this house today. This house, I live here, I buy this house since uh, 1994. And I get problem uh, two years ago, and after I go retire, I get problem with uh, payment. And first time, they're gonna foreclose. I uh, late payment for four months, and I had to pay them. 4,500. After that, I pay, pay, pay. Mm -hmm. Well, I got problem again. And they foreclose this house. And they, they, they want to sell out this house, want me to get out. I mean, he got like a, a lot of equities in the house. And now pretty much the bank just want to keep it and then kick him out of the house. And then they have the money. They want to kick him out, and then they want the house also. That's just uh, ridiculous. That's just not fair for anybody. I, I, if it would happen to anybody else, I would go on to that protest too. American dream, your freedom. He said he was looted through the bank. Yeah. He worked for 20 years, and the bank looted. Took it became like share crop, mm -hmm. and you never own anything. Right. And he just keeps staying more and more and more. And more and more. Yeah. And he was sold to so many people. So his mortgage is sold to so many people. What we have here is Akul and his son, who's been in this house for 20 years. They're fighting to stay in their home, right? Akum was in, uh, grew up in Laos, and um, an oppressive government took over. Uh, Akum worked in the government there. He was a civil servant. Akum became a political prisoner um, in his country and fought for his rights, and he was able to escape Laos with his life. Um, and that's, that's when he was, the so-called communist regime was in there. And now he's in the United States. He came here for, for the American dream and for freedom. And now he's up against capitalism. But we think, uh, but, it, oh, oh, <laughs> but, but individually, it's hard to fight these banks. It's hard to fight this system. But we've shown again and again to take back the land in Rochester, also organizations all over the country that we come together, we can stop the madness. We can stop the injustice. We can stop the foreclosures. We can stop the evictions. Oh, yeah. And we can re-envision what we want this what we want this world to be and make housing a human right. Because what we have here is this is not a conflict between simply a conflict between a man and a bank. This is a conflict between two systems of living, two ways of thought. And what we're what we're fighting for is people over profit and need over greed and human rights over corporate rights. And we think we're on the right side of history. But we have to organize, we have to come together, and that's the only way we can make housing a human right. Right now, that's, there's documents that say this and that, but we have to enforce it ourselves. And that's what we're doing right here. And I think the commitment of people coming out in the coals shows that Rochester's ready to enforce the human rights of people in our community. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. So, oh yeah, I feel good, I feel good. And I feel good because
your turn is next. We all have a turn, so it's time for everybody to just be be fair. Just be fair. Right. I think about uh, this housing thing. It's not right what they're doing to the people, and uh, the bank is just really just ignoring uh, a, a huge problem, and they're just trying to um, throw all this thing under the bus, and the neighborhoods uh, just got fed up with it. And uh, it's ruining the neighborhoods, and it, it, it should be, you know, they should be understanding of, of the neighborhoods. And um, I think uh, all these people here is uh, great people, and they're they're trying to save their neighborhoods. Like uh, it is a community that we live in, and um, we're not gonna, you know, let our neighbors and our friends be uh, taken by the banks. So right here, if we look at the contiguous 10 houses, I don't know if you can tell, but five of these 10 closest houses are already vacant. Right here. Right, vacant house. That ain't right. Two there, one there, and one there. Right, so. And a couple of them are down on the other side. So this is, so this is about Akum and his family, but this is about our whole neighborhood. This is about all of us. We're all in this together. And if, when we go down, we all go down. We're trying to bring us up all up together. We're here, the protests, a number of us are, are here to risk arrest. We got lock boxes and chains and barrels, if it comes to that. It feels good to be out here helping them fellow compadre out, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's all about, man, helping your fellow man, you know what I mean? When you're down and you need help, you, you ask for help, you get it, you know what I mean? Other than I'm here for support, man, you know what I'm saying? It was there for me, so I'm only paying it forward, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to help uh, and I'm thinking about it, yeah. stand up for the house and the person. Look into what we want to do so out there. So I'm trying to help them, make signs and stuff. I don't care. Yeah, I hope they get their house back. We have came through a hurdle right now today. You see the police just keep going around. You're still here. <laughs> Thank you. The same thing has started out with me. And I'm in my home today. I am in my home. I thank God, who's the, who's the head of my life today, uh -huh. Ryan, Ryan Acoff, and Take Back the Land, and all your supporters out here. They're, they're with me too. <laughs> I want to say thank you, and I want to say to you, be strong, keep your head up. Thank you. And you will get through it. All thank right. You. Yay! Yay! Uh, this amount of people came out to support, um, to show solidarity, which is extremely important nowadays. Um, we get too caught up in our lives, in our jobs, and silly things, and television, and when families losing their homes, I'm glad to see this amount of people under these conditions, these weather conditions, to come out and, um, and show support. Just to get an update on some news, um, I got a call from um, City Councilman Mike Patterson. Mike Patterson represents the Northeast District of, um, of Rochester. Mike Patterson, for many years, Metro Justice member, Citizen Action member. He, he called and he said, he said, he said, what can I do, right? And I said, what you can do is you can tell the police to stand down and you can tell every bank to stand down. And, uh, and the latest information I got was that he talked with, uh, um, talked with the police department. He got a call from the marshal and the marshal says, He's not coming today. I feel real good about it. I love the for these protests. I love all the people that's here. Um, I didn't expect that the show out this big. Um, I'll probably go to more protests now. Please talk with me about this house. Don't put me out. I want to stay in this house. 